What's up guys? Happy Wednesday to ya. And I thought it's time. Time to do the video that people keep asking for. Which is of course a comparison video of the three different Les Pauls that I have. So it's all up to you guys. Let me know which one you think is the best overall. Uh, I'm gonna run through some different amps and some different tones. So basically we're gonna be using uh, the JCM 800, the Friedman. The Friedman's actually set to clean because it has such a good clean on it. And then uh, the Rev, I don't know if you can see him behind me, I'll give you like a screenshot dealio, dealio of all the amps that I'm using. And uh, that one's going to be boosted for some leads. So we're going to do it with each one, and then I'll give you at the very end a little breakdown of some crunch tones just going through each pickup, so you can hear it that way too. So the guitars, real quick, what we're going to be using is uh, this one right here. This is my, my number one guitar. This is my 79 Les Paul uh, Standard KM. Then we are going to be using this one right here. This is my birth year guitar. This is an 89 Les Paul Standard. And then the only one that's not a standard is this 76 Custom right here. And um, I'll give you guys all the, the deets on the pickups and all that stuff. This one's loaded with uh, vintage, you know, T-top pickups. This has an Alnico 2 in the bridge and a Pearly Gates in the neck. And then uh, the gold top has a Friedman Classic P90 and then a Duncan Antiquity in the neck. So there you go. Let's get let's get to the tone, Joe. So the first amp up for a straight up rock tone is going to be the JCM 800 with a Hall of Fame reverb in the loop, and it's all going into my two notes, emulating a closed back 4x12 cabinet. Here we go. <laughs> Clean tones now, I'm going to use the middle position on all the guitars. I'm running through the Friedman BE Deluxe set to the clean, which is basically like the Bucks and Betty clean, because uh, it's just a real nice clean and still Hall of Fame, still rocking there in the effects loop. So here we go. <laughs>
lead tone time, baby. And I'm going to be running through my Rev Generator 740 set to the green channel, which is like a crunch. And then I have the Friedman Gold Pearl boosting it just a little bit. It's just a tone that I was digging. And then I have the carbon copy now put into the effects loop. So that's a delay and still a Hall of Fame. So here you go. So we're back into the Friedman. It's still set clean. Um, I have the Gold Pearl Boost pedal turned on now. It's lightly boosting it. Like you can hear, here it is without the pedal. And here it is with the pedal. Here it's pushing it a little bit more, giving it a little bit more breakup. And um, I'm just going to play you each of the pickup selector switches. So you can hear, I'm just a couple chords, nothing crazy. But you can hear each combination with them with a slightly broken up tone. Alrighty, so what did you guys think about it? What are, what's your outcome on it? Um, I think that this this was actually really interesting because I don't know if I've ever done anything like this, uh, for even for myself, like comparing all three of them literally side by side through different amps. And um, it really, it just kind of, to me, reassured. I'm like, oh, they do all sound different. They all feel different. I was like, okay, yeah. I mean, it's totally like, to me, justifiable, right? <laughs> that that's, that's the outcome that we wanted, wasn't it? Um, but no, being serious, like I said, I, I you know, I, I hear the, the custom, I'm like, oh, that thing's really, like, it just sounds dark and bassy, but, like, I, I'm like, cool, that thing has its own vibe going, and this is that nice kind of, like, uh, chimier style of, of a humbucker, and, um, you know, I, I believe later on in Paige's career, um, he put a T-top in, in his Les Paul, I, I, don't quote me on that, but I think I remember reading that, they put a T-top in there, I'm not sure about that. Um, and then the, the P90 one, I, th I think I was most surprised about the P90 one out of all of them. I'm like, oh, wow, yeah, this thing just sounds incredible. Like, it, it was, it was per the per literally the perfect ground between the custom 
and the KM here was the gold top. I'm like, it's it's just, it's blending everything I like. It still had that, uh, like a warmth and kind of like depth to it, but it was real quacky and snappy, which, which I've been mean, playing a lot of page stuff. So obviously it's um, gonna suit that pretty well, but it was, it was literally the combination of, it's like, okay, the custom has this that I love, and then it has this that I don't like, and this guitar has this that I love, and this that I don't like, and then the gold top was kind of like, oh, well, we just have the two things that you love of both guitars, put them into one. So that was my outcome from it anyways. Uh, overall, feel-wise, the, the cam's just so ingrained in my, in my hands, you know, like it just feels like home to me. But um, I would give the edge of feel as far as the way the fingerboard feels, and it must be the ebony, but the custom was super, super smooth and easy to play. So uh, I'm going to guess that maybe that has to do with the the ebony and the um, slightly newer frets, like these frets are pretty shot. So other than that, guys, let me know what you thought, and I will see you all later. You know, I, I would do a Strat comparison video, but I only have one Strat. <laughs> so, so there's that, but um, I'll see you all later. Later, homies. Whoop!